Hi guys, this is Silas here with another Arjuna layout. On this Arjuna page I wanted to create something really colorful and shiny. Uh, first step is to create my background. I just sewed the whole page and now I am using acrylic paints and sponge dabber. I didn't want my colors to be perfectly blended, I wanted to see different colors and textures, so I'm just dabbing my pens here and there. Now I am using my favorite ornament stencil by Viva Decor with uh, gold acrylic paint. Uh, by the way, all the supplies I am using you can find in the description under the video. Uh, if you are stamping with acrylic paints on such a bulky surf surface as my Arjuna is, uh, you can't expect perfect result. But it is okay with me, I really like this imperfect result. And as you can see now, if there is uh, way too much impressions missing, I could fill the blank space with my brush and paint. Uh, for stamping I usually use acrylic block but sometimes it's better just to stamp directly on my page uh, because my Arjuna is such an uneven surface to stamp on. Uh, now I am using this beautiful feather stamp by Aladdin with uh, white acrylic paint. Now I am mixing some white acrylic paint with water to create white splashes on my page. I really like adding splashes of paint onto my page, I think it makes my pages look more interesting. Then it's time for some stenciling. I am using gold acrylic paint with flower stencil I have made by myself. Flowers on this stencil are really close by and there is lots of them so I had to cover some of them with paper tape so I could work with this stencil easily. It's really simple to create your own stencil, I have made quite few of them. And I am using again sponge dabber to apply acrylic paint over the stencil. Now I am fixing some imperfections on feathers with my white gel pen. As much as I love those imperfections on gold ornaments, I wanted uh, those feathers to really stand out, so I made those lines more visible and filled some missing parts. And after this I also used my white gel pen to draw some dotted strings for my feathers.
Now I am using my flower stencil again to add more flowers uh, to my background, but this time I am using colors of my background so those flowers will be more blend in and won't, won't be so much vibrant. I am also using white gel pen to write my line and then I added some orange gold gems to decorate more my feathers. Next I wanted to add some white elements on the bottom of my page, so I am using modeling paste with this butterfly stencil by uh, the crafters workshop. And after this modeling paste is dry, I am coloring those butterflies just a little bit with acrylic paint and this page is finished. As always, in the end of the video you can see some close-up photos of my page, so don't forget to check them out. Thank you very much for your attention, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I would also love to hear any of your comments, thoughts or suggestions. You can also follow me on Instagram to see what project I am currently working on. Thank you and see you next time, bye! Thank you.